Hi Yogi Moms! This week it's all about support. Being at this stage in pregnancy, we realize how vulnerable we can be and how we need support in everyday tasks. So let's use our supports in yoga to help us build strength, find balance, and deepen our relaxation. Bring your props and let's prepare to feel good. start with an opening of our chest today. We'll come into a supported fish pose by placing two blocks at the back of your mat like this. One will be for your head and one goes under your upper back. Always come down on your side so we avoid using our stomach muscles to sit up and lie down. Use your forearms and hands to come down laying on your side then gently roll onto the blocks. I like to have my feet flat on the ground to adjust positioning so that there's minimal pressure on my tailbone and no tweaking in my low back. Rest the back of your head heavy into the block and you can extend your legs when you're ready, maybe putting a rolled up blanket underneath your knees if that helps soften your hips. Everything should be relaxed, just focusing on really letting go before we start flowing. Back of the palms are heavy on the ground Shoulders are relaxing down away from your ears so that there's, there's a nice opening in the front of your chest. Let, letting gravity do the work. And now let's focus on our inhales and exhales. So we'll take them all in and out of our nose for this practice. It's nice and steady and rhythmic to our movements. Now as we lie still, take a long inhale to a count of four, filling your stomach first, then chest, and filling all the way to the top, holding it in for a second, then exhaling from the top, letting it go out your lungs, and then baby falling towards your spine to let all your air out. Take one more big breath like that on your own, feeling the capacity your lungs have to take in so much oxygen, fueling your baby. And then release it out slowly, feeling it go all the way down your chest and tummy. And then just breathe naturally, but evenly on the inhales and exhales. Then take your hands on your thighs and draw your legs up to place your feet flat on the mat. Take your arms out to the sides and gently drop your knees over to the right. Your baby belly goes towards the right too. Just open in your left chest and then inhale to bring your knees back up and drop them over towards the left. Just a soft stretch to loosen your low back. Breathing easy. And from here, place both palms down on the front of you, rolling off your blocks to the left. Then press yourself up to seated position. Grab your cushion and cross your legs in front of you comfortably. Close your eyes and find your steady breathing here. And on your next inhale, arms reach out to the sides and up, chin up, exhale, Arms down in front of you, chin tucks in. Two more times, inhaling up, reaching up, and exhaling, bowing in. Your breath is surrounding you, your breathing going up the back of you, and then imagine letting it out as it comes down in front of you. Take your shoulders up to your ears, and roll them back and around a few times, working out any kinks and release, releasing tension. Bring both soles of your feet together, and if your knees don't rest comfortably on the ground, place the blocks at any height that's comfortable underneath them. Sit up nice and tall, lengthening your neck, finding balance in your seated position. And then inhale, arms sweep up, look up, maybe arch your upper back, and then exhale, straight spine, reaching out, folding over as hands relax down in front of you. After you come down with your flat back, chin falls heavy towards your chest, rounding in, surrendering to breathing through this low back healing pose and hip opener. Feeling your baby right in the center of you. Feeling good, completely relaxing your neck, softening your hips. Belly is falling forward towards the ground so you're sitting on your sit bones, opening your pelvis. Take a big breath in through your nose slowly and then breathe out just as slow, sinking in deeper. Then next, inhale, start to rise up, stacking your spine until your head reaches up towards the sky. 
and take the blocks out from under your knees if they're there and gently pull your legs up and roll off to one side or come forward over your knees into tabletop position. Let's do cat and cow poses with your breathing. So inhale, lifting your tailbone, belly drops, chest rises, shoulders down. Exhale, tailbone tucks under, baby goes towards your spine, upper back arches and head goes heavy. Keep going for a couple more on your own, just warming up your spine. All movements start with your tailbone. Breathing out and tucking tailbone and breathing in to lift your tailbone. Spread your fingers to distribute the weight from your wrist to, to throughout your hand. If your wrists have pain, you can always come into all fours with, with your fists, knuckles on the mat. And coming to neutral spine, let's warm up by reaching your right leg back behind you. Press into the ball of your foot as your heel goes back, getting into a calf stretch here. Keep your hips level and feel the good stretch, knowing it may also be releasing ligaments around your pelvis. Next inhale, lift your leg up to hip level, straight back behind you, lifting from your low belly, and stay here, extend your left arm forward, bicep by your ear, palm facing in, reaching your fingers forward. Extending in both directions, keep a flat low back by lifting your baby to your spine. Keep a flat upper back by pressing into all five fingertips on your right hand. Back of your neck is long, extending out from your spine. Great form. And then take one more breath and release everything down on the mat. Step your left foot back and get right into that straight leg stretch, not collapsing either hip. Pressing your heel back in space, breathing the tightness away. Then inhale and lift your legs straight up keeping that heel flexed and stay here, hugging your baby up and in, or you can extend your right arm forward for opposite side extensions, reaching through your fingertips. Lift your leg to hip level and your arm to head level so you have one nice long straight line going in front and back of you. Breathing steady in and out through your nose. One more big long breath in and sigh it out your mouth. Inhale, reaching and exhale to set everything back down into tabletop. Roll out your hips a couple times in both directions, checking in with your ball and socket joint to see where any tension lies. Making note of those areas and commit to soften and breathe into those areas for the rest of the session. Come to neutral and inhale, left arm rises as left hip stacks on top of right Left leg lifts and bend your knee, taking hold of your foot. And right leg kickstands out to the side for more balance. Good, look down for balance or looking up once you have it, press your foot into your hand for a quad opener and resisted stretch. Feeling good here, press through your right hand, making space in your right shoulder. Press into all five fingers. Good, and then slowly release your foot, reaching your leg and arm up and out, and then come back to all fours. Other side, lifting your right arm up, balancing on your left hand and knee, right hip stacks on top of left for balance, bend your knee and grab your foot. Press into the top of your foot, baby is out to the side, and use your muscles behind and under your baby to balance. Knee should still be one above the other, or near it so your low back doesn't arch too much. Looking down, release your foot, reaching arm back up, and then set everything down, coming into all fours. And once you're in all fours, place your forehead down on the mat and walk your hands out in front of you, spreading your fingers, pressing into every knuckle, into puppy dog pose, stretching out your arms, Hips are right over your knees, and your tailbone lifts to the sky. Forearms are lifted, shoulders stretching, and baby is relaxing down away from you. Take a big breath in through your nose, only to release it out your mouth fully with a big ah. Oh. 
Now place your forearms down on the mat with your elbows right underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under and press into the balls of your feet, but keep your knees bent a bit. Press into your forearms to lift your hips up. Relax your neck as the top of your head goes towards the mat, but pressing into your forearms lifts you up a little bit higher. Into dolphin pose. So breathe here, relaxing your neck loose. You can walk your feet forward as much as you want, opening up your upper back. Breathing, then pressing into your forearms. Holding yourself up, giving your baby space to move in a new way. Then look forward to your hands, press into them a lot, and come up to downward facing dog. Let's move into our flow, moving as we breathe. So inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale and step forward up to your hands, back knee goes down, and inhale, arms sweep up into low lunge. Tuck your tailbone under a bit to lengthen your low spine. Inhale and reach further up with your fingers, open your chest, and exhale, sinking into your lunge, keeping your hips evenly pointing forward. So left hip draws forward more, getting into your hip flexor. Exhale and straighten out your front leg, coming forward with a straight spine and then relax your head down, folding in. Feeling your hamstring stretch. And on your next inhale, bend into your front leg, raising your arms, stretching into your left hip flexor, and then exhale and fold right back over your right leg, long breaths to get full range of motion. Inhale, coming up, chest lifts, heart lifts open, and breathing out, folding over for the last time. Exhale completely, and then bend into your front leg. Place your palms down and step back to all fours. Bend your elbows, coming down, tailbone stays high, and then drops as chest lifts up into up dog. Breathe out to lift your tailbone back to down dog. Ah. Okay, inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale and stepping forward, back knee goes down, and inhale, arms sweep up into low lunge. Tucking your tailbone to get taller before we sink into the stretch. Inhale, arms straight up, open palms, and exhale, coming forward any amount. Hips, points, tracking forward. Right hip goes forward more, left knee is over your ankle. Breathe out to straighten your front leg. Arms and spine forward with a flat back. And then relax your head down, folding in. Feeling your hamstring stretch here. And then on your next inhale, bend into your front leg. Arms reach back up. Feel how, tight, how your right hip flexor feels. And then exhale and fold right back over your left leg, relaxing fully on this breath. Inhale, coming up, chest up, arms up into low lunge. And then breathing out, folding over, softening your thigh and forehead. Now bend into your front leg, place your palms down, and step back to all fours. Exhale, bend your elbows halfway down. Inhale, chest lifts, shoulders down away from your ears into up dog. And exhale, tuck your toes under and go back to down dog. Inhale, right leg goes up to the sky, pointing your toes, opening your hip a bit, and both shoulders square to the ground. Next exhale, knee comes towards your nose, shift shoulders over your wrists, and step lightly between your hands. Come to your fingertips, inhale, arms sweep up into crescent pose. Right hip tracks back and left goes forward, strong straight back leg. Inhale, arms reach straight up, maybe look up, if you have your steady balance here, bring your palms together and press into your hands, reaching higher as you sink lower in your legs. Press back through your heel, and then left hand comes down to your left hip, and right arm reaches up and over your head for a breath. Look up if you have your balance, and then inhale, left arm back up and place your fingertips down. Step your left foot forward into wide stance forward fold, and letting your neck go, bending your knees as much as you want. Inhale and sweep your arms all the way up to stand, palms together, looking up, and exhale, hands come down in front of you as you come forward with, forward with a flat back all the way down to standing forward fold. Inhale and come halfway up, head reaches out. Exhale and fold, placing hands down, stepping back to plank, gently set your knees down. 
hips high and chest comes down then hips drop as chest lifts into up dog and exhale lift your hips up to downward facing dog inhale left leg up to the sky pointing your toes reaching it as high as it can go while pressing through your left hand a little bit more good then breathe out to have your knee come underneath you shifting your body forward so you can step lightly up to your hands step up your back leg to be strong both hips pointing forward inhale arms reaching up to crescent once your right hip is tracking forward straighten your back leg to feel your hip flexor stretch even more 90 degree bend in your front leg arms reaching straight up and then palms together if you have steady balance maybe looking at your hands for more heart lifting stay strong in your legs and then breathe out to let your right hand come down to your thigh left arm reaches up and over opening your side body feeling good as baby faces forward still breathing in and breathing out and then inhale right arm back up sinking lower in your legs and then exhale and fingertips come down stepping forward to forward fold making room for your baby letting your head fall heavy towards the mat and feeling good in this sacrum opening and hamstring stretch inhale and sweep arms out and all the way up coming up to stand palms touching and coming down in front of you to fold back over yourself all the way back down good inhale and reach up and out with a flat back and exhale to fold in again releasing even more place your hands down to step back to plank knees come down inhale to your up dog chin and chest pushing forward and exhale think of lifting your tailbone to the sky to come into down dog really nice okay inhale right leg goes up to the sky exhale step through to your hands back foot goes flat this time on the ground 45 degree angle and inhale rise up to warrior one exhale and open your arms out to warrior two looking over your right fingers shoulders relax down your back start to straighten out your front leg and then breathe out to reach your right fingers forward take your block and place it on the inside of your foot right hand on it to support you in triangle pose the left arm is reaching directly above the right the block is helping you make space in your right ribs the right hip is sweeping underneath you as baby goes forward and slightly up neck is relaxed so look down if you need to breathing here is triangle pose in your next exhale reach your left arm over your head for more of a full body side stretch on the left side press through your feet for strong grounding and now take your left hand to your hip take your block in your hand and exhale to kick your back leg up and place your block down in front of your right foot away coming into half moon pose look down at one spot for balance flex through your left foot stay here maybe reaching your left arm up again or maybe bend your knee and grab a hold of your foot take one more breath thinking about your baby for balance good and then let go of your foot if, if you have it and square off your hips so place your left hand down on the block left leg reaches straight back behind you keep it as high as your hip bone flex your foot and then maybe reach your right arm forward into this variation of warrior three breathing steady for balance and giving oxygen to your baby and then when you're ready left foot comes down into wide stance head and neck are released into your forward fold bend your knees let your baby rest on your thighs and grab opposite elbows take a big breath in through your nose and let it out your mouth feel all four corners of both feet and then bend into your knees more and inhale to sweep your arms up to standing and release your hands down by your sides however you like bend into your knees reach your arms out and up with open palms hands touch and exhale to come forward with a flat back slowly all the way down inhale coming halfway up exhale to fold in placing your hands down and stepping back to plank with your knees down inhale to your up dog keeping shoulders in their sockets and exhale back to downward facing dog 
Good, inhale, left leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, step through to your hands, back foot goes flat, hips pointing forward, and then inhale, rise to warrior one. Exhale and open your arms to warrior two. Gazing over your left fingers, nice strong warrior mama. Straighten your front leg and exhale, reaching left fingers forward and then down on your block on the inside of your foot and right arm stack on top of left, reaching with open palm. Triangle pose. So left shoulder is well away from your ear. Left side ribs are expanding. And feel the opening in your right frontal hip. Your left hip tucks underneath you. Gaze up or down or whatever is more comfortable on your neck. Maybe reach your right arm over your head if you can keep your hips right where they are, getting more into the side stretch. Feel like your inner thighs are coming towards each other. And then right hand goes to your hip, grabbing your block with your hand. Then exhale to kick your back leg up, foot flex, and place your block down in front of your left foot, coming into half moon pose. Look down at one spot for balance. Do what you did on the other side, so stay here or Maybe reaching right arm up, or maybe bending your knee and grabbing a hold of your foot. And take one more breath, thinking about your baby for balance. And then let go of your foot if you have it. Squaring off your hips towards the ground, and place your right hand on the block. Right leg extends behind you, hips are on the level plane. Flex your foot and then maybe reach your left arm forward into this variation of warrior three. Breathing steady for balance, reaching your spine forward and back leg back. And then step your foot down into wide stance. Head and neck are released into your forward fold. Bend into your knees, holding your elbows in the other way this time. Good, letting your whole sacrum widen and release. Long inhale through your nose and let it go out your mouth good from the poses we've done so far and now release your hands and either go through pregnancy vinyasa or just step right back to down dog and breathe there so if you want to go through vinyasa step back to plank lower your knees inhale to your up dog pressing through your hands to lift up to and lift your hips back to down dog Spread your fingers a lot, pressing through all knuckles. Then bend your knees and lift your tailbone higher. Look to your hands and shift your shoulders and body forward. You can place your knees down if you want. And then bend your elbows and gently set your forearms down so your elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Hands still pressing into your mat. Hips are still high. Release your head and neck so it's heavy towards the mat but never touching. Walk your feet in towards your chest and keep your tailbone lifting. Feel the opening in your upper back and the inversion for your baby. Coming back into dolphin pose now and see how different it feels now that we're more open. Breathe steady in and out through your nose. This is a great pose to allow room for the baby to move at this point in our pregnancy. Stay with it now, breathing through it. And then when you're ready, place your knees down wide on your mat. Good, big toes coming towards each other. Make sure your hips are right over your knees. Come up to your hands and inhale your right arm out to the side and up. Trying to keep your hips level and exhale, hand comes down underneath you, stretching out to the left. Arm on the ground, head comes down on the ground, completely relaxed, looking left, maybe getting a stretch in the right shoulder. And walk your left hand forward, pressing into your palm on the ground to feel a stretch in your left side. Relaxing your right arm and engaging your left arm. And then inhale your left arm up and around in a big circle. And then left hand comes down behind your back, stretching out the left shoulder. Left hip tracks down and even with the right. Take a big breath in through your nose slowly, then holding at the top, and then just let it go any way you'd like, surrendering into the stretch. Then place your left hand back down onto the mat to press yourself back up, right arm reaching out and up to the side, and then set it back down into all fours. Step your right foot back behind you, swing that left foot out to the side. Inhale, right arm up to the sky for supported side plank. 
Exhale and reach that right arm overhead into full body side stretch in this variation. Feel how open you are now from warming up earlier in other poses. Stacking your hips, pressing through your left hand and fingers, and then set it all down again into all fours position. Inhale your left arm out to the side and up, keeping hips level and exhale, hand comes down underneath you, stretching out to the right, shoulder underneath you, resting your head on the ground, looking right, maybe getting a stretch in the left shoulder. Hips are high and over your knees. Right hand goes forward, pressing into your palm, feeling the stretch in your right side body and shoulder. Letting your left arm go and engaging your right arm. Then inhale, right arm up and around in a big circle. And then bring that hand behind your back anywhere you feel the stretch in your right shoulder. This side might be different. Left hip tracks down for a flat sacrum. And now inhale slowly, filling up your lungs, hold at the top, and then just let it go any way you like, getting more relaxed in this stretch. Take your right hand back up and place it down on the mat to press yourself back up as your left arm reaches out and up to the side, and then set it back down into all fours. Step your left foot back behind you on the ground. Right foot sweeps out to the side. Inhale, left arm up to the sky for supported side plank. Exhale and left arm extends overhead into full body stretch. Baby belly expanding out to the side with your big inhales. Press through your right hand so your shoulder has space away from your ear and cheek. Breathing. One more deep inhale. And then set it all down again into all fours position. Shift your weight back and come to sitting on your left hip. Use your hand and arms to come down to lying on your left side. So use a block as a pillow and have the other block nearby. Arms are relaxed how you'd like in front of you. Inhale and bend your top leg, holding your knee and bringing it in towards your right armpit. Let's hold here for a few breaths and feel the hip stretch on the right side. We'll only do this side as this pose may help encourage the baby to lie on the left side of the uterus. Relax your foot. Your hips are stacked on top of each other. Feel all your muscles release down into the mat. And then take your other block and maybe your cushion and place it in front of baby, under your knee and shin for complete support of your legs so you can get into total relaxation here. Close your eyes and feel still in your complete comfort. Baby's back being on the left side of the uterus is ideal because the shape of our, of our uterus and how it may make it easier for labor. Resting heavy here, feeling pleased with all the breathing and moving you've done today. Staying in this pose for as long as you would like. Remembering to smile before you rise.